Going back to 2016, Ezra, that was a shock to the left. That was the asteroid dinosaur <laughs> event, if you will. I mean, before Trump was Brexit was another shock, but you know, that was across the pound over there. And then that's when they had this jihad against uh, right-leaning uh, commentators and websites and what have you. But here's the thing, their man Biden is now in the White House. Trump is gone. I, you would think that they would, you know, you know, take their foot off the accelerator as opposed to continually uh, driving it. Or is this all about intimidation, submission, and complete control? Well, I think uh, the modern left never stops. When, when they have a win, that's the new front line for the mm. next move. And so Biden winning, that's not it. That's okay. What's next? What do we want that's next? And I mean, you can see that just to pull an example out of the air, the gay rights movement, yeah. gay marriage, gay adoption, that's all achieved. Yep. So now it's transgender. Right. That's the, I mean, instead of taking a victory lap and saying, guys, you did it. Or yeah. same thing with race relations. Yeah. I mean, black president, black people, visible minorities in high office in Canada, in the United States, in business, in sports and entertainment, well, it's not enough to have equality. We need woke, you know, I inherent racism, self-denunciations, whatever. The left never stops. Yeah. The left, and the nef left never says, we've had a victory, this is where we wanna be. No, no, no. That's their new jumping off point. So demonetizing us, the next step will be deplatforming us altogether. Trump losing, that's just the beginning of the great new world for them. Mm. And I, I said to our rep, I said, look, this is so obvious because we don't share the worldview of Google and YouTube, which are headquartered in Silicon Valley, the most left-wing place in America. This is so clearly what it is. We don't do anything illegal. 15,000 videos, we've never broken a term of our terms of service. Um, they can't point to any video. We, like they're, they're not even hiding it, David. Yeah. And I suppose it's obvious by now, but no one in the media party cares. No, no. no. And I, I get it, we jab at them hard, me yeah. in particular. But just a week ago, we discovered the US Navy yes. and the Canadian Armed Forces both hired the same Arkansas-based defense contractor yeah. to smear us. They whipped up a cyber forensic report, just a bunch of BS. And I, part of me is thinking, gee, I wonder if they gave that BS dossier about us to YouTube and said, oh, you better shut them down. Could be. Obviously, there is no future with YouTube. Um, where are we going from here? Well, we are uh, setting up accounts with a bunch of other alternatives to YouTube. DLive, Twitch, Odyssey, Rumble, just to name a few. Now, many of them are obscure. And altogether, they're not even 1% as big as YouTube. Let's not kid ourselves. YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world. It's the largest video platform in the world and we will just not be able to replace it. But we can uh, get into the lifeboats, the 10 of them. And one thing I really wanna do is the 1.45 million subscribers through YouTube, I wanna get their names and email addresses because if YouTube shut us down, I'd never be able to talk to those people right. again. So that's why we've encouraged everyone to go to afteryoutube.com. Yes. Afteryoutube.com, we ask people to do three things. The most important is, hey, can you tell us your name and email address? Because YouTube won't give us that info. Mm. That's one of the ways they hold power over creators. They never tell, they sell subscriptions, they sell ads, but they never tell us the details. Hmm. So number one, go to afteryoutube.com and give us your name and address. When you can unsubscribe anytime, we'll never sell it to someone else. Number two, sign up to one of our accounts on these alternatives, Rumble, Twitch, places like that. And number three, if you can, $400,000 kicked out of our company. That's over the course of a year. I mean, we make around 30 grand a month. That's a lot of money. And I don't want to bend the knee to comply, and I don't want to lay off anyone because we're just doing so great these days. So I've asked our viewers to help us out again uh, through crowdfunding. And I know people say, oh, you're always crowdfunding. Well, I think it's a more honest way to live than the alternative. Oh, yeah. Because I see four ways to be in the media these days. Number one, be independently rich. Okay, well, that, <laughs> that's not us. Uh, number two, ask for money from Justin Trudeau. Yeah. And that's what about 99% of Canadian media does. Number three, be part of a corporate VC, woke capital, you know, BuzzFeed, that's where they get their money. Vice, that's where they get their money. Left wing investors, big corporate, but you better not color outside the lines. Well, that's not us. So what's left? If 
I'm not a gazillionaire. If we're not going to take Trudeau money, if we're not going to get woke capital, well, what's left? Exactly. Well, our viewers are what's left. And I think it's a far more honest way to do journalism, to look into the camera and say, folks, if you like what you're seeing, please chip in a few bucks. You can do that right there at afteryoutube.com. And last I checked, we were close to $100,000 already. Fantastic. Uh, of the $400,000 goal. And by the way, what I like is we, we do our stuff, you know, even though about 99% of our people don't give, I don't mind because I want them to hear the message. And I'm grateful, very grateful, to the 1% who do give. Um, you know, I'm not even going to call those other 99% free riders because I really want to talk to them. And it takes a while to, to get used to us, to get to know us, to get to like us. And not everybody has spare change. But over time, people see us casually, then they make a point of seeing us, and then they maybe even get involved. Maybe they sign a petition. Maybe they need help through Fight the Fines. We've helped over 600 people. Maybe they want to give help through Fight the Fines. We've, maybe there's some way that people can get involved with us. So over, that's what I've liked about YouTube. Over time, it takes people from zero miles an hour and then five, and then 10, and then, you know, if people watch us enough, they really get drawn in to the whole rebel approach. So that's why I don't want to lose YouTube, even though we've already lost the ad money. There's 1.45 million people out there that I want them to stay in touch with us, and I hope that we will as long as possible. But I'm, I'm not kidding myself. One day that'll be cut off too. Hey folks, that was an excerpt from my show, Rebel Roundup. Now, to get the full meal deal, why not go to Rebel News Plus, sign up, and never miss a Rebel News Plus show in the future.